Okay, now as you can see, I have the vacuum pump running. Um, what I have here is a 20 CFM Indiana 220 electric vacuum pump unit. Um, over here is the unit. Um, for testing purposes, I have, um, I have eliminated the moisture trap. I'm just going directly into the releaser since I'm right here. Um, the way the Indianas are set up, this is your um, vacuum control valve. Um, and as you see, um, I am testing at 25 inches of vacuum. Um, I could go higher, but I feel that this is, um, this is like a good representation of what I'm going to be doing in the woods. Um, if you come over here to the releaser, I'm also running 25 inches of vacuum. Um, as before, here's my continuity switch for testing purposes. I just got it plugged in there. Um, and the pump house will be plugged in the wall and I'll have a short cord going from this plug to this switch. Um, right here is my extension cord. Um, let's walk over to how I'm doing this now. Okay, so as we walk over here, um, what I have here is my 5 sixteenths um, line into the barrel. It's coming out of the barrel. It's going into my one inch line. My one inch line is my feed line. Coming up through here. As you can see, the 5 16 under 25 inches of vacuum pretty well fills the whole one inch line. I'm going into the releaser, and as we peek in, if we can see it, there is my water flowing in on my sump pump right there. If you look around, as you can see, let's see if we can get a picture of it. Right there is my continuity switch. When it's blinking red like that, that means that the lower switch is underwater. It's showing continuity. And when this starts blinking green, what it will mean is the pump will kick on. Um, what I've set my releaser up for is an 8 gallon dump. At this pace that it's coming in. Oh man, I got glare. At this pace that it's coming in, I am roughly dumping 8 gallons of water every 3 minutes or so. As it's filling up, let's see. Oh! The green light just kicked on. It's blinking. That means it's pumping. We're going to look up here. It's coming up, coming up, coming up. If we can get a picture of it up here at top. Let's see if we can focus in. You can see it coming off my check valve right there. What I've discovered is roughly, roughly 25 inches of vacuum with the sap flowing in how it is you can see it coming in I got air pockets coming in now must be I had the line too deep in there I'm getting air pockets everything but it's pumping down coming down you can see it splashing against it still pumping down the pump roughly takes about a minute, minute and a half to pump out under this amount of sap that I got coming into it. What I was trying to do is represent like an extreme circumstance in life um, in the field. Um, on 475 taps, um, I really don't know if I'll have this much sap coming in at one time. I possibly could. Um, you never know, so that's why I did it the way I did it. As you can see, it's still pumping down. You can see my pipe over there that was protecting my lower continuity switch from before. Sap still coming in. Not quite pumping as hard as what it was before. Our light is still blinking green over here.
and there it goes. Just shut off. Now as you can see the sap coming back, you can see it. If you can see it coming down, let's see if we can see it. There it's bubbling up, bubbling up. What my sap is doing is actually dripping back into my releaser right there. And my line is drained on its own. And that's it. That is my electric releaser.